What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on with the RX-7 bonnet after our little excursion to check out James's 4 rotor. Uh, it's definitely left me feeling a little bit inadequate. They've only got two rotors, but at least the size of the turbo makes up for it a little bit. Now, if this channel ever gets anywhere other than just as a hobby, a 4 rotor will be the first thing to go in that slot. Now, it is absolutely freezing down here today, hence why I've got my hat on. Now, I don't know what it's like where you live, but when it's cold around here, it definitely brings out the artist in everyone. Check that out. Now, not too sure about the ball to shaft ratio. Uh, solid uh, 6 out of 10 for me, uh, could do better. Alright, so if you're wondering why I've got a massive hole in my bonnet, uh, you've probably not seen this video up here. So give that a watch first and then come back to this. But today, um, first job will be to prep sort of the edges, taking the paint off, because we're going to weld the side panels and this front panel in. Um, and then we can start making the little slits up there. But first job is get rid of the paint. Okay, so now that the paint is off all the way around the edge where we're going to have to tack it, uh, I'm going to get the panels in and we will tape them on again just so uh, doing a final position. The bonnet is bolted down properly, so exactly where it's going to be when it's fitted. So tape the panels in, I'll probably then pull the bonnet off, we'll give it a tack uh, on the back side of the bonnet so we can pull the tape off, refit it, make sure it fits all right. Uh, pull it back off and then finish off the world. Okay, so that's it pretty much tacked in, uh, a few places down there and the front plate and the side plate are tacked in, uh, definitely feels a lot sturdier now, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit of a ball ache, mainly because the bonnet material is so thin and what I'm putting on is probably, you know, up to twice as thick, maybe maybe 0.6mm uh, thicker, so Giving a little bit of issues, taking me a bit longer than expected, but it's getting there. But well, I am going to call it a night for tonight because it's absolutely freezing. So I'll catch you in the morning. Morning is the next day and today we are going to do some more work on the bonnet. So we're going to weld the edges. I'm not going to weld all the way around, I don't think. I'm just going to do some stitch welding uh, so it's structurally sound and then I'll lose all the gaps on the bodywork process. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, now I got a little bit carried away with the time lapse, so let me catch you up to what we've done. Now, I've welded it 
uh, all the way around. I've only sort of done a weld every two inches because the bonnet material is a lot thinner than this material I put on and I just don't want to put too much heat in it and then warp it and it'll be a nightmare later body working it. Someone with a bit more skill and experience than me on the TIG would probably have no dramas doing it. But I've just done a, a weld every two inches. Uh, it's plenty strong enough, but I've also put some of this panel bond on all the way around the seams, uh, just to give it a little bit extra. And also the little plates that were missing from here, uh, I've cut them out and put them in. Uh, they've been welded as well. So I've just got to let that set, which is taking a bit longer than normal because it's freezing. So I've got two heaters on it. Uh, as soon as that's set, we'll flip the bonnet over and we can start body working it. So here's where we're at after all that sanding and I've just done a little primer on the edge and I also fixed this little ding that was been winding me up for about six months. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave it here. Um, it does need a little bit more sanding but I just can't bring myself to do any more hand sanding because every hour you do hand sanding is like 10 hours in the real world. It just takes forever. So I have ordered... Uh, a dual action like air palm sander so I'll do the last little bits with that but I'm not going to be able to paint it on this video uh, as much as I wanted to because the temperature is just too cold I'd never get the, the garage up to temp so uh, we're going to leave it here but do uh, stick around for the next video because the bumper is turning up in the next week or so hopefully and that is already painted in the colour that the car is going to be. So, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh... and if you made it this far, well done. Here's a sneak peek of the new colour. And before you judge, search Mazda Sunburst Yellow on an RX-7. And it looks bob -omb.